Why, hello, welcome to My Echo Life. My Echo Life, I, yes, I changed my channel name. It is brand new, I'm rebranding my whole thing. It went from Quebec Homestead to her echo life because now that I'm beginning this new phase of my journey, well, I had to make a change. And I think that the name represents me pretty well. And I am going to be posting a video every Saturday from now on 8 a.m. And uh, I'm really excited <laughs> to share with you guys. So I got this idea to do this live stream and talk about this because of somebody who's in the chat right now, Lindor Mather. So thank you so much because I did post on my Facebook page because I do have different social media. I have my Facebook page, which is also her echo life. I have Instagram and TikTok, which I am trying to optimize and trying to diversify a little bit of uh, where I post my things and uh, brand new grassroots. Thank you for being my first member. <laughs> that is so awesome. I have opened up a member section and uh, because I used to do these live streams every week and I would, uh, you know, like a little, a little, a little drink here and there. And I, sometimes it would get a little out of hand and I figured this maybe not be the right place to put this here now. So I am doing a member section and I will also be doing one a live stream a month and you know then we'll get let loose and you know just be ourselves there and just uh, hang out so for uh, my regular um subscribers that have been there since the beginning uh, you know and, and my all my new ones thank you so much for being here i have felt like the amount of support that you guys have given me and you just you've stuck through this like two-year phase that i've been in uh you know you've been trying to follow and I've been just you've been just there while I was searching for myself and I just really appreciate you guys so much so thank you so oh hey um Foxit how you doing hey frugal off grid how are you doing dude frugal off grid he is amazing I watch your videos I you inspire me so much like awesome seriously and with your horses and everything you're a great source of inspiration for many people, I'm sure. And thank you for doing what you do and sharing the content that you do. That is awesome. If you guys don't know him, go check him out. He's um, out in Arizona in the desert, high peak desert, and he's like completely off grid. <clears throat> and uh, he's been doing it like frugal, right? Like sort of what I'm trying to do is on a budget and doing it paycheck by paycheck. And there you go. So, <laughs> all right. Yes, Cliff, I'm sorry. It's just so easy for me. And like, it's easier for people in the chat that are, you know, it's like, hey, it's Fox, it's Cliff. But yes, I can. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I um, got this idea because I posted a photo on my Facebook page. And, you know, I'm there with my chainsaw, which is part of the thumbnail for my next video on Saturday coming out. I went out to the property, I started clearing trees. And um, I didn't have gloves on. <laughs> And I knew that somebody was going to say something about it, but I only have one glove and the other one got eaten by my dog. They're made out of leather and it was in my dog's face where he was sort of biting on things. So I need to go buy a pair and uh, Lindor actually generously gave me a donation and he's like, go get you some gloves. So I am writing down a list of things because I realize that starting over on my own, I don't have many tools. <laughs> you know, everything is Ben's and I don't want to be depending on him for like, hey, can I use this tool and all that? Because I'm, you know, we're getting separated and I need to be able to do these things on my own and have my own tools. So I have my Amazon page uh, open right here. And uh, I am looking for an axe, <laughs> a good axe, you know, because I went out and I cut out a whole bunch of uh, logs and I need to split them so to make my firewood. And I've been trying to figure out what the best kind of ax there is. And I know that there may be people in my subscribers that have a better knowledge of this than me. I know that um, my friend Jesse from Rain Dance Bushcraft, he usually pops in here. I know he'll probably have a few pointers for me, but if any of you guys do or have any ideas of good brands that won't break, <laughs> you know, like, because if I'm going to be spending money into tools, I want to make sure that I have the right ones. Or at least I can put them in my Amazon wish list and, you know, then I'll, I'll have that there. So, all right. 
I'm happy to see you transitioning so quickly into continuing after your passion. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. So yeah, it, it happened all so fast. We went on our cruise and then, you know, it was just very eye-opening and we had a big conversation and, you know, I, it just, it just happened like that. So yeah, he, so I do have until July 1st here until like just to get my stuff together. And I did find a place to stay, which is awesome. I have a, a really good friend that offered me a room in her house. And like I seriously, two, two weeks ago, I got the news and I took pick up the camera and I was like, okay, guys, like this is what's happening. You know, this is live. This is happening right now. So I turned around pretty quickly and I've always been really good to get back up on my feet after, you know, situations like that. So it happened just so fast. And I'm just so grateful for the people that I have like physically in my, in my location in my community and also the community that I have created online because seriously, if it wasn't for you guys watching and pressing the like button and sharing out my content, it's, I don't think it would be possible for me right now. So I am just really, really, really grateful for you guys. All right. So let's see. Splitter axes are good. All right. So I am going to put this up here. Oh, wait, can I do like this? Oh, there you go. Okay. Let me see. Splitter axe. Splitter axe. So I, I did start here. I don't know. Uh, splitting axe, 26 inch camping hatchet for chopping and kindling wood. Like I, I feel like this one here is the one that I saw that I was like, I like the, the size and the model. So let's see. Frugal says my Fiskars axes are pretty cheap and hold up well. Okay. So Fiskars, I do have one, but it's a small one, right? And so it's not good for chopping wood. Like, I think it's more like of a, a small hatchet. So I don't know, like, what size and what, like, you said it could be heavy. They can be heavy. Well, I, I'm expecting that I might need a really heavy one, right? Because, I mean, it's it's supposed to chop like a good log of wood. I don't have big ones. I don't have like those, you know, you see those people on, on social media that have like, they have like those huge, huge ones. I don't have those ones here, but, um, and, and I mostly have softwood. So I don't think I need a really, really big one, but anyways, we'll see. They have full size axes too. Yeah. Okay. Just get a mini log splitter. Well, yeah, I, I don't have enough money. I'm on a budget uh, cliff. So like to buy anything that's like uh, with a with a, a motor, I, I don't have the skills yet to like, let's say something breaks to fix it. So I just want to go manually for this for the amount that I need. I'm going to have a small cabin, right? So I'm going to have 20 by 20, two stories. And it's going to have a wood stove in it, but I don't think it's not going to burn 20 cords of wood like this house, right? So I think I'll be able to get by with just splitting it by axe. Plus, it makes some pretty good content, <laughs> seeing me mess up. <laughs> but anyways, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So friskers, I'm going to write that down. How does that, how do we write that? All right. Fisk. Fiskars axe. All right. And I also like need to like get everything to sharpen it and, and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go back to this here and type in Fiskars axe. <laughs> oh, yes. Axe for underarm. <laughs> All right, so see, this is the one that I have right now, the little 14-inch hatchet. So there's one splitting axe, 28-inch black here, and then there's a chopping axe, 23.5-inch. I feel like, I don't know which one would be better, splitting or chopping? What do you guys think? Splitting or chopping? There's a splitting one here that's like... It, it looks a little bigger, but I'm not sure. It's got like that cool groove on it in the beginning it, up there. And then there is the chopping axe, which doesn't have the groove. See that? I don't know. I feel like maybe the splitting axe would be better. Let's see. 
I'm going to go back to it. One strike splits. I don't know. I, I feel like I should put it to the challenge. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just put it into my wish list and then I'll have it in my list. How do I do that? Add to wish list. Do I do that like that? Did I do it right? Okay. I don't need that. <laughs> I put these in there for my girls. My mom was trying to figure out, hey, what can I buy the girls? There you go. There is that. Okay. Let's see what you guys think. Hey, Heath. If you're using a chainsaw to cut your firewood, look more at a splitting mall. Splitting. Okay, so there you go. I think that's what I had here, right? Splitting. Yay. Okay, good. Um, homie Omi. Hi, how are you doing? The weight is more important than the length. Okay, good. Splitting for chopping firewood. Okay. Just remember that Fris Friskers uses a molded composite plastic around the head and for the handle might now be the best choice for your cold temperatures mm, oh yeah maybe like a wood one would be better i don't know maybe I th the price is good though i mean seriously 72 dollars it's not that bad weight is better as you don't have to put so much oomph into it okay good and i know like there's there are techniques to splitting wood as well right so i'm gonna have to it's gonna be a learning curve for me because i we did have a log splitter like seriously at the farm we had all the machinery and everything i'm just like literally starting over and just doing it by hand so all right that sounds good oh wedges yes i need wedges don't i okay let me see how do we call those um wood wedges yeah ben had some of those too wood wedges okay good 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 i got some here Boop. all right so we got some of these ones here oh that looks cool <laughs> all right so some wedges those look weird they look cheap I'm looking on Amazon, but I mean, if you guys have better brands for me, like if you're like, hey, wedges and use this brand, then tell me that, you know, <laughs> it'll help me out a little bit. I'm going to put myself back here in the corner. There you go. All right. Ooh There's people. Oh, hey, Wickershire Project. Uh, Amazon lock splitter tool bolts. Scroll down, screws down on a fixed flat stump, make splitting faster, use a handmade wooden hammer. Screws down on a big flat stump. Oh, is that is that the thing that I saw earlier? Like that you just, like that here, right there? Is that what you're talking about, the Wickershire? That looks really cool. That looks really cool, actually. How much does it cost? $139. Yeah, I'll stick to an axe for now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm just going to put some wedges in here. And that'll like, I'm just literally, literally just like brainstorming with you guys because I really need to like make sure that I have like the right prices and everything. And I'm just going to like put them in there. So I added it in there. Okay, good. What else do I need? Wood or fiberglass handle would hold up better in extreme cold times. Yeah, probably, probably right. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely, um, if you guys have any really good brands of axes with wooden handles or fiberglass, let me know. Swinging an axe is for chumps. <laughs> Wait, is this a solo adventure now? Yes, homie, homie, it is. It really is. I am on my own. I'm building a house in the, in an echo village. So I bought the property. I'm getting it on the 25th of April. And uh, till then, he said that I was allowed to go clear a little bit of the woods and stuff so that I can get ready. And uh, as soon as I get notarized on the 25th, then I'll be able to get the ground tested for my septic. And then I'll be able to be able to ask for my permit, which might 
be a problem, I realize, here in, the, in my area. There's one girl that gives the permits, and she only works three hours a week in my area. And so I've heard that there's a lot of people that started their builds and completed their builds without even having a permit. So it's she's really like overloaded. She's on the verge of burnout. She's uh, she's uh, training two new uh, employees to help her out, but there's just a lot of demand. So I don't know what's going to happen with that, but we'll see what we can do. Is wooden mall to drive the wedges into this work? Yeah, there you go. True. Hey, Terry, how are you today? Sorry I'm late. I didn't get the notification. It's okay. No worries. No worries. We, uh, I'm like I, like I said, um, I was just looking through because I got a few comments of, uh, uh, with, of some subscribers, and they're like, hey, you need some gloves for, for using that chainsaw, and which is she's totally right. And so I started making a list of things that I needed to buy just for, like, the short term for, like, the next video, and uh, then – well, not the next one for this Saturday, but the one after probably. I'm going to go back out there on Monday. So just wanted to say hi. Best wishes. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. All right. Oops. If you're chopping the logs that are coming from the clearing, they're not hardwood, but softwood, and they should split easier to start off. Yes, so they are softwood. I don't have much. Like, the only hardwood that I have is, like, birch out there, and it's really small. I don't even have to chop it. So I'm not going to have, like, a lot of it to do. So, <sighs> okay, thank you. Are we building a cabin or splitting firewood? We are doing both. <laughs> So we are splitting firewood, and I'm also going to probably I, – I looked at those – like, um, how do you call those? Alaskan chainsaw rails, uh, those cheap ones. Uh, there's a company that reached out to me where they've been reaching out for me for years. Uh, they're called Vivor, and I, I just – I wasn't making content, so I was like, you know what, let's just put it off. And they keep on writing me, and I saw in their products that they have one of those mills. So I was like, yeah, maybe I could try that. But I need a better chainsaw. My chainsaw is too small, and uh, so, like, for that. So we'll see. Like, I'll have to, like, adjust it maybe. Not the felling wedges, but the splitting wedges. Oh, okay, good, good, good to know. I'll, I'll check that out. Think cheap. Think cheap, think free. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, I'm behind on comments. You guys are put, you're writing a lot, aren't you? Okay. Seems to be useful. I can rip out tons of firewood with that. Okay, so you, you're talking, yeah, you're talking about that thing. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Okay, well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to go, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go find it again. And I'm going to add it to the wish list. There you go. There you go. It's done. <laughs> so it'll be there. I'll, I'll be able to refer back to it. All right. Never pay top price. Switch to low end prices. $20. $20, you know, like for the wedges, you mean? Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations. I mean, it is, it is a separation, but I mean, it's for, you know, it's for good reason. And, you know, we last, we had a good run. We had 14 years together and two beautiful children. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go into detail about any of that on my relationship side for respect out of Ben and, and for the kids as well, since they're watching, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's sad, but it's also a very good thing because I'm going to live out my dream and I'm going to do it at my pace. And if I want to YouTube all night, I'll be able to YouTube all night if I wanted to. And I won't have anybody to tell me anything. <laughs> so I'm going to be here and I'm committed to it. So I'm excited. Plus, the Echo Village is a really cool thing because I'm never going to run out of content. There's going to always be something to do around the okay i have to design the food forest i told the guy that started it the founder that i am going to help him with that immensely and uh, i reached out to my friend howie in bc who designs food forests and he said that he's going to help me too so i'm going to try to get a whole bunch of my youtube friends to help me you know help me with the design and stuff and uh, then we're going to have community gardens as well 
So like we're really gonna try to do a lot of things uh, with our hands and cheap, frugal, right? And so we're really excited about it. But it's like the beginning of the project. So I feel like I'm in the right timing so that you guys can see the beginning of the Echo Village. And, you know, I'm planning on staying there for at least 10 years, at least 10 years. So it's a good 10 year project. If I stay longer then cool, but I'm not, I'm not planning on leaving there anytime soon. It's going to be my safe haven. And, uh, you know, until the kids, kids get older, we'll see, like, it depends where they're going to be going to school. And if they have grand, like I, if, if they plan on settling down somewhere far, then I want to be close to them too. So uh, and plus, I, I am an American citizen. So if I want to offer that to my kids one day and say, hey, you want to you want your American citizenship to have dual citizenship, then we can go to the States and, and I can provide that for them, too. So we'll see. Um, but they just they're too young right now. And they don't even don't, they don't they don't they don't even know it's an option. You know, <laughs> I'm not putting anything in their heads right now. But it, if they want to, then we can we could do that eventually. But yeah, I use a $20 wood splitter tool, handmade wooden hammer mall, free and cheap. About saw 15 bucks to 25 bucks. Well, you should come here and help me build one. <laughs> oh. Let me pump out firewood. I bet you do. Need to enlist some muscles for your project. Oh yeah, I do. Actually, so many people. What happened this week was so exciting. Um, I never really utilized Facebook, uh, you know, for, for my social media and everything. And all of a sudden I had this like vision. <laughs> okay. You guys know, I, I mentioned that I'm a medium, right? So I, I sometimes have visions. And so I got this idea in my head and I guess it's from manifesting all this stuff. And I posted a picture and my story on a Facebook group back home and I realized that on Facebook, everybody that likes your comment, you can invite them to your page. And so I didn't know that. And so I started doing that and I gained like 500 followers on my Facebook page on my French side, like just in two days. And I was like, holy crap. Okay. So I'm finding Facebook groups and I'm posting on there just my story. I'm not posting any videos or anything, but I'm bringing people into my Facebook page, which is really cool because if I'm able to get to a point where Facebook has 10,000 followers and then I have enough watch hours, then I'll be able to monetize there too. Uh, it's a little different for now. I'm just driving people to my page. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Uh, so I, and when I, when I posted that thing, everybody started writing me, Hey, where is your echo village? Are you looking for people? Do you need help? And so I was really, um, like I said, the support locally and online has been incredible. So I'm really grateful for everything. It feels like everything's falling into place. I found my people. I found my, my place. I found my purpose pretty much. Right. So I'm excited. Never buy the 100 and totally. Okay, I will not. I will not. <laughs> Bill, pop over on Saturday. I'll showcase my sadly made wood sledge. Okay. <laughs> hey, Dave Knight, how are you doing? It's the first. It is the first day of the rest of your life. It is. It really is, Dave. It really is. So, yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm excited. I'm full of energy. You know, I realized that all these years I've been in survival mode, you know, so it's like starting over with this energy that I have. I feel like I feel like I did in the beginning of when I started my YouTube channel, which is like full of energy and stuff like that. And then so I'm I'm really excited. And I, and I feel like I've learned a lot as well how to manage my time and my calendar and, you know, with me starting my business and still going to school and trying to drive in clients, you know, like, because I am a massage therapist, I'm studying to be a massage therapist. And I, I see the difference that I do with my clients. I, I give Reiki healing, and I am also a medium. So I give those services as well. But like, I really see the difference that I'm doing. And I, I'm just, I'm just so happy. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm happy about where my life is going and and um, it really is a, new, a fresh start, you know. 
handles a wee off kilter, but it still hits hard. Okay. You'll have time to do all this, I hope, with the room offer you have. Yeah. And, oh, and yeah, my uh, trailer, I have a friend that reached out to me. She saw my video and she's like, hey, I really love your camping spot. It's right by the lake. Do you think I could, she wanted, she, she bought my season for the camping spot. So, so what we're going to do in May is I'm going to find somebody to help me bring my trailer onto my property. I'm going to bring the, uh, the deck and I'm going to bring the, uh, the cabano. What's a cabano? The shed, the little shed that I have next to it. So I have to clear out that whole space so I can bring it to my property in May which uh, I'm really happy about that too. So it's like everything's falling into place. And I have a friend <laughs> that also reached out and she's like, hey, I'm getting my kitchen redone. Do you want my old cabinets? So I'm like, shit, yeah, give it to me, you know? So I'm like, everything is just, I'm just, I'm just so grateful, guys. I'm just so grateful. <laughs> Since when am I American citizen? I was born in the USA. I was born in San Diego. So I, I am an American and I have my Canadian citizenship pretty much. So yeah, I'm on my birth certificate. I was born in San Diego. 4th of July, 1988. <laughs> there are two versions of the log splitter tool. Dual wood split and quad wood split. Quad makes perfect logs for most wood so splits the log in four pieces. Okay, right on. So let's see. Let's go here. This one here is a four, is the four. So see right there. Boop. Oh, shoot. What happened? There you go. Yeah, see, usually uh, back, back at the farm, we would have been able to make the, something like that, but I don't have a welder anymore. I, I don't even have like the, um, the outlet to plug in the welder and plus it spins and I'm really trying to not use these things as much. So anyways, okay. So wedges. All right, let's see. I saw, okay. To take off the bark, how about D barker <gasps> chain? No. Chainsaw tool? D Barker chainsaw tool? That's nah, that's that's not what I'm looking for. D Barker to take off the bark. You know, like those knives? I'm looking for one of those. Of bark. Those ones like that. Yay, that's what I'm looking for. What is it called? Bark scraper. Okay. Bark scraper. No, but I want the two handle one, right? That's the one that we saw. I need to get one of those. It's so therapeutic. Oh yeah, like that. I love doing this. This is like, you sit down next to the fire and you start debarking and it's just like, you hear the sound. It's like, <laughs> I love it. I'm going to add that to the list. There you go. All right. G Barker. I thought I was a true Canadian. My dad is the Quebecois. My mom is actually uh, half Mexican, half French and Czech. So I have a little bit of a mix. I'm a mutt guys. Like I'm a, I'm a real mix. <laughs> You are a medium, a small medium at large. <laughs> yeah. I am a very in tuned medium, I could say. <laughs> I do give readings. I did a reading today, actually, to a fellow YouTuber uh, today. Um, I was Annie. I, you know, you know her, Dave. I uh, I offered her a reading uh, at a discounted price, of course, because she's a friend, and uh, she. I think she's happy. She said she booked another appointment for next week, so. I'm excited. Everything's like sort of working out. Handmade, a heavy mallet from log and hardwood. You'll tear through wood splitting without much effort as the mallet does the work for you. My wife makes a quarter cord in a week. Right on. Okay, heavy mallet from log and. Okay. Right on. 
a draw knife. Is that what it's called? Okay, let me see. Draw knife. Shoot. Oh, so there's straight ones and there's curved ones. Oh, I wonder which one's better. Draw. Do you guys know which one would be better for me? I feel like a straight one. Oh, I don't know. That's interesting. See, because these ones are like way curved. Let's see the photo. It might hug the tree better. What do you guys think? And then there's the straight one like that. Oh, I like the, the way that it turns like that. Curved one would be for my knees, you think? Yeah, draw knife. Looking for a draw knife debarking. There you go, draw knife. I didn't know that's what it was called. Curved for round cuts, debarking and draw knife straight for making boards. Oh, so I might need both of them. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna add both of them. So, straight. And then curved. Add. Why did I see that before and now I can't see it? Where's the list option? Add to list, okay. There you go. Okay. Great. Right, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Curved one for my needs. Straight edge takes less off, not as hard to pull. Okay. So on grassroots, I can't believe, I can't believe, I, I didn't even, I, I wasn't even like planning on telling people that I had a member section yet. And like right off the bat, the day right after I, I set it up, I see grassroots in my, in my, because I posted all my old live streams that we did. Cliff, remember those live streams I would pop you on screen and we would like the Halloween night, we got, we got a little tipsy and I, I put all those ones in the member section because I was like, you know what, if, if you're subscribing to my member section, it's because you're probably like a homestead and brew type of person, right? Because <laughs> that's, that's who we are. It was fun. And so, yeah, he, he showed up and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you're awesome. Grassy is a busy body. Grassy is a busy body. I don't know what you mean. I remember the Halloween. Yeah, so I put the Halloween live in the memory section so we can go back to it with Johnny. Johnny was there. It was fun. Oh my gosh, good times. We do need to do that again. Yeah, we do definitely. If like, because now how it's working with Ben is that he's going to be taking the kids one week and I'm going to be taking the kids the other week. And uh, so, you know, if if Halloween, you know, I, we're going to try to do it together. I mean, we can still stand each other. It's just <laughs> we'll, we'll try to do it for the kids, but it'll have to be uh, I, it depends if, if Halloween is on a school night. Anyways, we'll see. We'll try to do it again, Cliff. Definitely. Anyways, we'll have some more, um, some more of those live streams. Before you buy anything, watch it being used on YouTube. Yes, I definitely will. <laughs> is it? Is your name Bill? I, I think I saw your name pop up, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I am definitely going to 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 check that out uh, on youtube i always check on the reviews and make sure that something is really good um let's see i have the wedges i have the fiskers axe i'm going to check if it's wood or fiberglass handle and now i'm going to go get some gloves and oh man it sucked because I went out and I have this, right, to, I need a, a chainsaw sharpener. So 
I need to figure out which one would be the best for me as well for a chainsaw sharpener because I think I completely messed up my chain. I'm going to have to go buy a new one, but I'm going to have to practice on my old one before. But I saw those electric ones, that which I think would be really beneficial. Uh, let me see. Let me show you what I saw. Um, electric... Chainsaw sharpener. So I saw like these ones here, like those. See, Vivor again, that company that they that company that keeps reaching out. Do, am I sharing the screen? Okay, good. So they're these kind of they're on an angle, right? And I don't think I need something like too crazy, like honestly i get sent these machines made it made in china and they're durable <laughs> they really are like they don't look too good but they actually are so i don't know i think that might be where i'm headed because i hate doing it with this <laughs> and i keep on messing up my chain so i think maybe i'm, I'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna add it to the list I'm not going to buy everything right away. I'm just FYI, but yeah, I think, I don't know if you guys have used one of those before, but they look really cool. The Fiskars Axe don't have a calm in wood or fabulous. Yeah. So yeah, so I wrote it down. I was like, you know what, like Fiskars or look for something else. <laughs> Their fiberglass handles wrapped in plastic. Yeah, we'll see the the little hatchet that I have. If you guys want to share this out with your friends, uh, with with the people that we know in our community, that would be awesome. There's 11 people in here. Um, yeah, if you want to do that, that'd be awesome. I'm still here for a while. I'm chilling with you guys. Maybe I could do that too. I'm gonna share this out on my on my uh, Facebook. Let's see. Facebook. I'm going to go on her Echo Life. YouTube. My algorithm is so messed up, guys, since like I started over. I'm I'm posting completely different con content, right? So it's like, where do I send all these notifications? What kind of people do I send this to? So it's it's going to be a struggle to build this up. Like Russell, my friend who has Raspberry Rock Off Grid, he's like, Mallory, you should just start off a new channel, right? But I don't know. I asked the universe and it said to keep this channel. So that's what I'm doing. I feel like I have a gut feeling, right? And when you have that gut feeling, you have to trust it. So, all right. Let me share this out. How do I find the link? There you are. All right. I'm live right now. Come join us. I forgot, like I, I usually post on Instagram and say, hey, I'm going live tonight. Oh, well. There you go. The page. Did that work? It did. Oh, maybe I could do like that everyone. You know, like how you guys get tagged i never done that before i'm gonna do it i'm gonna say hashtag everyone or followers no that didn't work i don't know how they do that i'm gonna have to figure that out be there in a sec guys Got it. All right. I'm coming back. 
Watch Project Farms testing of chainsaw sharpening devices. He gets down and okay, let me see. What's it called? Project Farms. Testing of chainsaw sharpening devices. Okay, right on. I'll go check that out. Thank you. Chinese metal is like chocolate. <laughs> With that style sharpening, you will want better sharpening discs, Miss. Uh, you can call me just Mal, Heath. I have a similar one that is the only way I sharpen my chainsaw blades anymore. Okay, cool. Right on. Okay, so good sharpening discs. Oh, definitely. And, and the right size because like every chain, like mine's really small. So I do actually have one of those electric chainsaw blade sharpeners. Works pretty dang good and easy to use. Right on. Okay, good. The carrot seating video pays the bills. It does. It does. It really does. It's been it's been rocking every single spring. It hits the algorithm. That one and my beekeeping video. And so it drives a little bit of people, but like I'm posting content that those people didn't subscribe for. So it's like my algorithm is all messed up, but it's okay. We'll we'll work through it and you guys are here for it. <laughs> You're thick and thin. It will take some time to rebuild. Just post off and your falls will come back. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Ma Oh, hey, Rebecca. Been a while since I caught up live again. I'm on board with you keeping this channel since I started watching you on this channel. Eventually, you'll find a new groove. Yeah, exactly. And I've I've definitely found my groove, right? Like, I'm, I'm back. If, it's not like I don't feel like if I'm posting on two channels, I'll be able to do, like, those long 20-minute videos with, like, you know, the cinema. Uh, cinematic views and stuff like that especially like my drone broke too so I don't think I'll be able to get that out in the sky anytime soon I I, I don't know what's happening with it, it keeps on dropping from the sky <laughs> so uh, you know I'm just literally posting the story and like the journey you know that's like the the angle that I'm doing it from it's just like I can't be putting in all this work and filming and getting those perfect views on my own so it's like I'm really trying to do it from that angle, saying like, hey, I'm I'm filming, I'm doing the work, I'm doing this on my own. Yes, I have some help, but it's like I need to edit these videos all while going to school and running my business. So I had to cut down somewhere, and the editing part is that big part. Of course, there's a little bit of editing, but it's not going to be as crazy as it was. He does a good job proving out products. Okay, cool. All right, I'm definitely going to go check him out because I, I've i seen that. Like, there's this one guy who has a Facebook around in my area, and he's, like, the sharpener of the village. And so, and he always has a funny joke in the beginning. And, oh, my gosh, this funny jokes. But you can't tell them online, you know? I could do that in my members section, but not on, not on, not publicly here where kids can see. But, yeah. He's got that machine, and I was like, oh, wow, okay, that's another game, you know? And so with this one here, the thing is, is that when I go to sharpen it, I sort of like, I have the hardest time finding the perfect angle, so I eat the chain a little bit underneath, and then I'm like, oh, shit. So, like, I feel like the angle is good, like, on the, on the, this way, but this way, the angle kind of shoots down and it cuts down into the the, the place where it, it joins the chain. So it's like, I don't know. I tried it, but it didn't do too good. I still like sawdust coming out of my chainsaw. I was like, that doesn't seem right. <laughs> I didn't use manners. My mom would roll over it in her grave. Then probably jump up and smack me. <laughs> it's okay. Just call me Miz. It's fine. You need a guide for doping the shark. Yeah. See, well, the guide is Ben. So I'm like, I, I have to like get everything from scratch. So yeah, a guide definitely. Oh, check that. I don't know what kind of guide. Let me see. Boop. Guide. Guide for chain. Oh, shoot. What's happening? Wait. Chainsaw. Sh 
sharpening guide. Like one of these ones. Wait, let me see. Is there something else? I saw I saw some like this, right? But I don't know. Play the video. Okay, no, I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Is that like the, to cut the top bar? I don't know. And then there's like these ones. That one looks cheap though. They're like too cheap. Um, like that. I think I saw these ones here. Ben has one like this. Maybe I should just like write to these companies and be like, hey, you know what? I need to test out these products. <laughs> Maybe they'll send them to me. I don't know. I don't know, what do you guys think? This one here, like that type of guide? Or the other one that I was showing? Chainsaw sharpener, portable hand crank, chainsaw. Hand crank? That exists? Sorry, like I'm, I'm blown away. Hand crank? Oh, that's interesting. Doing it. Uh, okay, got it. Hey, Carol, how are you doing? Thanks for being here. There's a small crowd tonight. But it's nice. We get to chat, actually chat. <laughs> so it's nice. Hey, so Grassroots, I don't remember your name. I, I once knew your name, but I was wondering, uh, other than like a live stream, on the members uh, side, is there anything else that you would like to see out there? Like, uh, I don't know, sneak peeks or videos and stuff like that, or community posts with like behind the scenes. I'm really curious to know what kind of, you know, like what you'd be interested in seeing. All right, so we have uh, axe, gloves, chain. I'm gonna actually go out this weekend and go to a store to get gloves because I don't, I won't have time to order something online to get it before I go back out on Monday. But I really do feel like it's important. My hands, with all the vibration, hurt <laughs> from from uh, milling, uh, not milling, but from from the chainsaw. So on the YouTube channel, it is Bucking Billy Rays. Oh, I know, I know who Bucking Billy Rays is. I'm going to write him down because I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, he's fun. I used to watch him like two years ago, I think. And yeah, he had a whole bunch of uh, sharpening. Oh, yeah, that's something that I need too. Okay, well, let me see. Mm, okay. So sharpening stone for axe, right? That's what I'm looking for. Like those round ones like this. I had a friend that I met a couple years ago and he had, I swear, okay, I mean, I say this, no pun intended, like the sexiest axe out there. <laughs> like I looked at it and he's like, I worked it. It was so shiny. I was like, how in the world did you do that? He polished the crap out of it. And I was like, I'm sorry, but that's really sexy. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. Okay, so here you go. This is the sharpening. There you go. I think that's what I need. I'm just going to put it in there so I don't forget. And I don't know exactly what grade. I have to ask him again, but. Yeah, I'll, I'm sure a YouTube video will be able to, to tell me. Boop. All right. Any and all of your content is good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Project Farms content on these sharpening tools. Okay, so Project Farms also. Okay, right on. You know what I love about YouTube is that, you know, you can be a woman like me with like minimal experience building and you can literally ask people in the chat and they will direct you to another YouTube video or a YouTuber that'll have the information for you. You know, that's what I absolutely love about YouTube. <laughs> it's like, it's amazing. I just can't get over it still. <laughs> Yeppers, you want the puck style for sharpening axes and hatchets. Okay, great. And I know you have to wet them. Like my friend told me, he's like, you know, you need to soak it in a bucket, get it all wet. And like you soak it for hours, right? And before you use it. So I tried doing that with uh, with one of my axes. Well, my, my little hatchet that I have. Um, but I don't, it wasn't the right shape. It was like rectangular. It was more for like kitchen knives and stuff like that. So it just didn't work. His videos are about 35 minutes or so. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's Okay. All right. Yeah. See, what I'm what I'm thinking of doing is just sticking to like twelve minute videos. Just about twelve minutes. Like if it's from nine to fifteen minutes would be fine for me, because they're not too extensive to edit, and so I'll be able to post on both of my channels. Because I think it's really important for me to post on my French and my English channel, since I do live in Quebec, right? And uh, I have that French community and. The YouTube world in Quebec is like literally not tapped into yet. So they're all on Facebook or TikTok. But I, I want to change that. Like I, I, I want people to realize that you can actually make a decent living on YouTube. And it's, you know, and if you're sharing content that can help people, then why not do it? It's so amazing. And the people on here are, are amazing. So. Like I'm not, I'm not making, it's paying, like honestly right now YouTube is paying for my horse being boarded and uh, like it's been consistently paying for my horse. Like literally that's what it's been paying for. But that's better than nothing right now. Honestly, like I, it's better than nothing. <laughs> and so eventually my horse will be at home and it'll pay for us. Hey, you know, so I'm, I'm just really excited about that. The crazy Russian hacker has become a multimillionaire doing this. Oh yeah, I bet. I mean, I know I know some couples from the homesteading community that have built their home based on YouTube revenue, which is awesome. And they actually have really good content. You know, and I think that's important. It's like you don't, you can't just like take the camera and be like, "Hey, I'm doing my dishes." You know, <laughs> it's like it's more than that. The, the content that you put out has to have a value of sorts, right? And so I depend on my YouTube subscribers to tell me what they want to see as well. But like sometimes it's just really hard to like uh, to officially get out and do like, okay, this is the specific thing that I'm going to do. Um, just subscribe to your French channel. Oh, thank you, Rebecca. See you, Rebecca. <laughs> right on. Thank you. But yeah, it's... Um, yeah, for me, it's really important because when I started my French channel, it was for the minority of the people that were on YouTube that are Quebecois, but I found and I tapped into the French and the European French people and they're like, oh my gosh, Quebec, you're gardening and there's snow, like you're planting garlic in the snow. And so they were like flabbergasted by that, right? So that was really like another side. And so I met the homesteading community of Europe which if I want to go travel, I'll have places to stay, <laughs> you know? So that's cool. And I'd really like that one day. I'd really like to be able to travel and go and go meet up with you guys. That, that'd be so awesome. I watched a few of your episodes to help brush up on my French skills since I haven't used French much after high school. Oh, well, that's awesome. I'm glad. I almost do identical videos. Like literally I will take the camera and I'll film one segment in English, and then I'll t go back to my beginning spot and film it in French. So it's like double the work. It's, uh, but I think it's really important for for the community. As you can afford it, to try to get up at least three to five chainsaw blades for each size saw 
you have. That way you don't have to stop in the middle of cutting to sharpen, just swap out that sharp chain. Yes. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay. I'm going to write that down. Chain extras. Okay. That's a really good idea. Deep Bay Homestead off grid with Rob and Sharon. Hey, Mal and everyone. Hi, Deep Bay Homestead. How are you guys doing? I'm glad you're here. 16 people in the chat. I don't know how many likes I have, but be sure to hit the thumbs up because that really helps up. Like on any single one of my videos or anybody's videos, just hit the thumbs up. Who cares? <laughs> just do it. It's free. It always helps. I've been recently getting into you know, uh, getting a list of YouTubers that I used to watch and that I was, I was connected to, but then, you know, with everything I have, I realized I just spend less time on the screen watching. And so uh, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been mostly, when I watch YouTube, I will literally like look for what's the best chainsaw sharpener, what's the best, you know, all that stuff. So and then at times when it's time to connect, I, I really rely on these live streams or when somebody's live so I can jump onto their live stream for like five minutes and just catch up briefly. But I, like I said, I've learned a lot throughout this process and I don't want to burn myself out at all. So I'm really like, I've, I have my 40 hours a week. I'm doing it. I'm going out to the property once a week for now to go, to go work on the property until I'm notarized. But when I'm going to be notarized, I'm going to put my schooling aside. And my, my teacher said, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Like, we're going to we're gonna finish your schooling after, and it's okay. So, but I, like, all the, all the videos and the teaching is done online as well. Like, not all of it, but a whole bunch of it is, is online so that when you go in, on the spot in the school, you already have everything and you've already practiced it on many people. So... It's, it's doing really good. I, I found like what I'm really, really good at in, in like the real world. And that is massage therapy. And I'm really excited about that. If I'm throwing too much info your way, I've been running and repairing chainsaws for over 40 years. Are you, wow, that's awesome. That is so cool. My gosh. Okay. I was going to say, well, next time I'm going to put it in a box. I'm going to send it to you and you send it to me repaired. And <laughs> it'll be my mechanic. <laughs> Do you have to clear cut a lot before you can build? Yeah, well, I mean, it's not too bad. I have a video coming out on Saturday morning that's going to show you exactly like, and I walk through and I, and I show you where I think I'm going to put the house. And it's, it's not too bad. Um, there's interesting sizes of trees. Um, but I'm going to go out there on Monday and I'm going to film some more and I'm probably going to clear out my driveway because I went out, uh, last, well, this week and I cleared down some trees that were just fallen down. But the, uh, the guy that owns the echo village said, you know what, it's fine. You can come out here and clear out the place for your house before, uh, before you get notarized. No problems. So I'm going to go do that on Monday, probably cut down. I, if I, excuse me, I have the hiccups. <laughs> if I, uh, if I have a friend that can come out too, I'll probably get him to, to help me. He's a bit, he has a bigger chainsaw. So he'll be able to, to get the big ones. And, uh, if I'm able to get that done, just put them down so I can come back on my own and then, you know, section them out and put them in firewood, then that would be great. So We'll see. Uh, well, firewood and logs because I'm also going to keep a few of them as, as logs. But yeah, it's pretty dense. I mean, it's not as dense as like some parts of the property, but it's it, you can walk through it. There should be closer mechanics for chainsaws for you. <laughs> I'm in North Dakota. Yeah, there are. There are. I was just joking. <laughs> Convince Raspberry Rock to come over and help. Oh my gosh, he's got so much to do on his on his side over there, man. I, I you know what? If I put a bet in, I'm probably gonna go visit him first before he comes out here. 
I don't, why would he want to come to Quebec? <laughs> I mean, other than to see Jesse, maybe rain, rain dance bushcraft, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I've been on here for an hour. Okay. So do you guys have any ideas of anything else that would be an essential for starting up for in the chainsaw, uh, chopping, anything in that sorts? It, like, please enter that into the uh, into the ideas, and I will uh, I will see what I can do because I'm going I'm going shopping this weekend, and uh... <laughs> yeah, you're so polite, Heath. <laughs> I bet I bet your mom raised you really like you gotta be polite. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I appreciate that. Book always good to have on hand. Buck? Buck? What's a buck? Buck. Buck saw? Is that what it is? I have a silky saw. I have a, one of those big boys. I got that for Christmas two years ago. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Big V, just attracted with a great bull. You're you're laughing, but I looked at them. I was looking at them, but they're too expensive for me now. But I saw this the cutest little John Deere tractor with a with a bucket, but it's like a lawnmower. And I was like, are you kidding me? And it was four by four. But I oh, man, I I'm gonna have to wait a few years for that one. Well, maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how YouTube goes. But maybe next year. I think that would be cool because if, especially if I bring my horse and, and I want to have a way to like carry my compost into my garden and stuff like that and not have to carry it with a wheelbarrow all the time. So it just, just a little tractor would be like so perfect for me, you know? We'll see. Bucksaw. Bucksaw. Okay. What's a bucksaw? Let's see. Buck saw. Gosh, why did it keep doing that? It keeps on going crazy. Oh yeah, that's it. That's what I have. Uh, like I have a silky big boy here. Let me see. Silky saw big boy. <sighs> Come on, you do it. Silky saw big boy. See, that's what I have here. And I absolutely love it. I love this thing. It is amazing. Hey cat, how you doing? Is that is that what it is? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, Cam, I, I was uh, looking through things and we were talking about um, just little things on my list that I need to go out and buy so that I can have uh, better tools in order to work with. So, and I don't want to buy just anything. So there are people, you know, my friends are helping me. <laughs> <clears throat> I saw that after I top comment. Okay. No worries, Sunny. There you go. No worries. No worries. All right. So yeah, I love this thing. Buck saw, bow saw, especially... It's essentially the same thing. Bow saw? What's a bow saw? Okay, like these ones. Yeah, I saw those ones too. They're really cool. I think like the handle might be a little bit more ergonomic, you know? And they fold out. I think they're really cool. I've seen um, Alexis outdoor. Whoa, Alexis Outdoors, she actually has one of those and she uses it quite a bit. And it's really cool because you can put it in your bag and it takes literally no space. So I, yeah, those are really cool too. Okay, I'm gonna add it to my wish list. There you go. Add to wish list. She's got exactly that same one, the Boreal 21 inch. Well, I mean, did you see me type? I've been having a, the hardest time also. Every time I type, the screen goes poop. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, 
Uh, now that we've been over an hour, Cliff, do you want to hop on here? I'd love to chat with you. I would love to chat with you, actually. It'd be awesome. It's been a while. It's been forever. Tools are good. We just hired a crew to grind four Olander stumps out. What, what is that? Olander out of the yard. Nine hundred dollars. Wow, that's crazy. That's a lot for four stumps. Wow. Okay. All right. I will copy this and I will send it to you, Cliff. On can I send it to you on Instagram? I think that's the only way that I can communicate with you, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this real quick. Boop. I'm gonna send it to myself, <laughs> and then I'm gonna send it from my phone because I I can't get the link directly <clears throat> from uh, from Facebook to Instagram. Okay, two seconds, I'm coming. Cliff, Fox it outdoors. Won't be long. <clears throat> there you go. All right, so hopefully you receive that. There you go. Saw book like a saw horse to hold the tongues. Oh my gosh, yeah. Uh, I think I saw that. Let me see. Saw book. Uh, the uh, the the guy that owns the uh, the property. He has this like grapple, but it's you, you bring it to the ground and you grab the logs and you just pull them. That looks really cool too. Let me see. Uh, I'm just thinking of grapple, hand grapple maybe. Okay, let me show you what I think. Those look really cool too. Log lifting tongs that the see like that. You literally put it to the ground. I, there are different models, but I thought that looked really cool. The way that instead of putting a hook on, oh, that's really small, isn't it? <laughs> I have bigger logs than that, buddy. 30 inches. Yeah, I might need something bigger. Won't be long, Cliff. I'm just trying to figure out what this thing is really called. There must be another name for it. It really had a handle. It's it's not quite the same. 20 inches would be probably better. <laughs> that's a really big log for that. <laughs> that's a really, <laughs> that's Photoshopped. That cannot be real. Look at that wheelbarrow. That wheel would be completely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hello there. Good evening. How you doing? Not as bright as I thought it was. Let me let me adjust that. I'm a little toasty, but otherwise doing well. How are you? I'm good. Are you a little toasty? A little toasty. What do you mean toasty? I was. I, it, I had no no clouds today, and I was out in the sun for eight hours. Oh my gosh! Wow. <laughs> I'm just a tad bit toasty. <laughs> well, it's been it's been really nice and sunny here too, but with a lot of snow. And we're supposed to get 20 centimeters tomorrow. Again. Again. <laughs> That's Canadian weather for you. It is a toxic bush, especially toxic to horses. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. Oh, that sucks. I wouldn't want that. That bush you was talking about. Yeah. Indoors tonight, but I was also baking in the sun for like eight hours. Okay, I was I was busy doing my thing. Did you see that picture of the wheelbarrow? Yeah, I did that. that that's definitely photoshopped. Oh my like god! 
terrible. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. We tried to self skip breaking the tools. Yeah. I, if you, yeah, you, sometimes, sometimes it's necessary to really just get something hired out. Snowing here. I don't know. I, I gotta remove a tree in my yard because that sucker died. And, uh, yeah, me and my dad are doing it. We ain't hiring nobody to take that sucker out because we don't want them breaking our blocks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you guys are like really uh, like all completely well landscaped, right? Yep. I have about three hundred pounds of flagstone to move. Wow. Four hundred pounds of flagstone block to move, and probably about. Three to four hundred pounds of rat like rock to move. I'm just gonna do something real quick and go on YouTube and check out Deep Bay Homestead because I don't know where they're from. It's snowing. Deep Bay Homestead. Rebecca Hosey, you, I'll, I'll send you some sunlight. Y'all send me some snow. I live in the desert. I haven't seen snow down here that stayed on the ground for more than four hours, even in heavy winter. Oh, oleanders. Wait, what? Okay, Deep Bay Homestead, off grid with Rob and Sharon. Okay, let me go see their about section. Welcome to the official YouTube channel of Deep Bay Homestead. In 2020, we decided to build our retirement home away from the city life and off city of Freedom, a couple of hours north of where we are now. Where is that city? Where is it? Uh, uh, Minden, Ontario. Nice. Right on. Cool. So they have TikTok, Patreon, Reddit, and, and PayPal and everything. Cool. Right on. I'm subscribed. <laughs> I'm subscribed to them. We'll be right back. Sorry. I have to take a there short you go. If you go to my live stream, you get all notifications. I didn't even, like, seriously. Is that your house with solar panels and everything? That is so cool. All right. I'm sorry I didn't watch any of your videos. I subscribed and I didn't watch and they're not supposed to do that. It's probably probably in the it, it was probably a little while ago. They were probably just starting up. All right. I will definitely fix that. <laughs> All right. Let's do it like this. Hey, where you go? Saba calls your long your logs at standing height for ease of cutting. Yeah, Sawbuck. Okay, Sawbuck. Let me go back and do that Sawbuck. Amazon. Sawbuck. No, not Sawbuck. They're saw horses. No, actually, no, that might be a Sawbuck, but that's the essentially the X style. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, UFTA outdoors. Yeah. Well, you can almost build one with with logs, right? Yeah. Pretty. Yeah. He pretty much him and uh, him and his dad always build those things out in the middle of the bush when they're building yeah. random. I think I'll do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. Log horse. I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna draw the X. There you go. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. See. Yeah. Exactly. Log tongs are best used with equipment for some kinds of, yeah. But but the ones that, that my, my neighbor had were just really with a handle and it was a little grapple on it. And I was like, wow. And so instead of having like that hook, you know, that you drag the log, it literally just, and they had a longer handle so you can have more, more strength, which I thought was really cool. I like the steel sharpener. The steel sharpener, Chinook preparedness, how are you doing? Still sharpener. You have to be more specific. I don't know what you, what you're talking about. Still sharpener, because still is the name of uh, still is a chainsaw brand. Yeah, that's the chainsaw that I have, and I do have a sharpener that was bought at still. But, <laughs> but honestly, I'm 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 not doing too good. I'm not having much success with this. So I need a guide or something. Send that sun to Ontario, please. Yes. <laughs> send it to Quebec. <laughs> yeah, I said, I'll, I'll, you said, I'll send you the sun. You send me the snow. No, you don't want the snow. Yes, I want snow. I haven't seen snow down here decently for like forever. Well, come here then. <laughs> I 
she says, as if though I can just up and just draw, go to Canada. <laughs> Getting the pushes out needed done fast. HOA was threatening lawyers, really, because a couple of dead branches. Wow. Okay, I need to. I need to look up what oleanders are. Yeah, it's because the HOAs are a bunch of turds. I used to live in one, and they're they're not fun to deal with. Oleanders plant known as oleander nerium as a shrub or small tree cultivated cultivated worldwide. Oh, but they're so beautiful, though. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. They have beautiful flowers. Yeah, I bet that would be like something that like animals would really want to like nibble on. Wow. That's a bummer. Sorry to hear that. Minden, Ontario. Okay, right on. A lot of Ontario homesteaders and, and people off grid. Three in one chain, chain, still three in one chain slash after. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. <laughs> I'm like literally. Thank you for being here, guys. Three in one chainsaw sharpener. I don't think they'll have that on Amazon, though. Oh, I see two. Oh, they won't. What? Oh, they'll have it on Amazon. Yeah. So I see two in one, easy file. I typed in three in one, but I only see two in one. See? Two in one, two in one, two in one. Oh, three in one? It, it, that's a Dremel. Hmm. It's odd that they don't have the three in one in there. What does it look like? Gosh. I don't have one, so honestly, I couldn't tell you, but I guess I, I don't know these the black going... ones that you were looking at earlier. I saw these ones go viral a while back, but the, I <laughs> I don't see how that would work. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, there's these log rollers too that are really cool. I like those. Yeah, the simplest log rollers and axe, stick it in the end and push. Right? Like everyone wants to get fancy with these things. It's like that one right there on the end that's just Stuck right in the end of the log and just twist it. Yeah, I like that. Or a log pick is what they're called. I'm going to have to write a whole bunch of companies and see if they want to send me stuff. Uh, you might have a point there, Rebecca. What? <clears throat> she says that the Canada doesn't have as much options for uh, Amazon that U.S. does. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to check out that three in one because I have no idea what it is. I'm going to write it down so I can do a research. I got lots of homework, guys. I got lots of homework. Okay, so three in one still. I'm actually going to the still uh, store uh, this weekend. Oh, it's, it might be closed. Anyways, we'll see. Shh, chainsaw sharpener. Finding two in ones, two in ones. Okay. There you go. Got it. Project Farm AHS did that one too. Okay. All right. I'll go check them out for sure. Poisonous is never good, cat. Sometimes it's best to have them first and taken out. Yes, definitely. Two in one was older version. Same design, basically. Oh, really? Okay. So same design, basically. All right. I'm I'm surprised Grace isn't here. Who? She's always here. Grace. Oh, Grace. I think yeah. she's um might be on Jason's channel right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's over on Jason's channel. Who's Jason? Uh Pest Hunter Outdoors. What? Pest Hunter Outdoors. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Canada lacks options sometimes compared to the States, yes. All right. Yeah, I'm excited for 
Yeah, I'm gonna. I, 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 I've been using Chat GPT a lot these days, and so I'm like, just to save time, I'm like, hey, can you write me a YouTube description? <laughs> so it writes me YouTube descriptions, and I'm like, this video is about this and this and that, and so it gives me like a rough idea of like what I should write in my YouTube description. And sometimes I don't even have to change it, and sometimes it, sometimes I do, but it's really, it's really a good tool. I'm really enjoying it. And so I, I wrote down, a, um, I asked Chad GPT to write me a paragraph or like an email to write to companies and explaining my story and stuff like that. And he came up with like this really cool story. And I was like, holy crap, like I've been missing out. It's saving me so much time. <laughs> so I've been telling all my YouTuber friends, you should go check out Chad GPT because it, it is really cool. No, you don't have to pay for it. It's completely free. That's what's cool. You just download the app and you ask it anything. Here, let's ask it a question right now. Ask, put a question down. I'll, I'll put it down and I'll tell you the answer. Just hey, anything. Darren, how's it going? Hey, Darren. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're, we're, oh, what's your favorite axe? <laughs> what's your favorite splitting axe? Let's ask Chad, Chad GPT, okay? What is the best chopping axe or splitting axe? Splitting axe or splitting maul. Maul. Known to man. Okay. Oh, now that one's going to be interesting because there's a mechanical one out there that for some funky reason, when you strike the wood, it actually shoots the wood out. Like it's splitting. Really? Okay, let's see. Determining the best splitting axe or maul can depend on various factors such as personal preference, intended use, and budget. However, some highly regarded options include the Fisker's X27 splitting super splitting axe, which is what I had in my, my thing, a Gransfer's Burke splitting maul, and Husqvarna wooden splitting maul. Each of these tools has its own unique features and advantages, so it's essential to consider your specific needs before making a decision. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's got throwing axes. My favorite axe is Gritch. Gritch. Grish? Grish. Grish. Is that is that a real thing? <laughs> what is that? Um, Depends on where she's located. Might be an old school one. Gresh oh, axe. That's an axe. It, also known as a guitar. It's a guitar. Yeah, that's what I, that, that's what I'm finding out. <laughs> nope. She looks at uh, preparedness as chaps. Oh, I have chaps, but they're so disgusting. I need to wash them. Oh man. I, yeah, I I need to get some more chaps. I'm gonna actually gonna put them on my list because, yeah, they're really disgusting. Like I was filming my video and I was like, they are so full of like, um, a sap, and they're just so disgusting. <laughs> so I think I might I might have to to present myself better buy a new pair. Let's see. It's funny how I write in chaps and it automatically goes to chainsaw chaps. I'm actually shocked that it didn't do a like stirrups, like horse chaps. Yeah, there are some here too. See? Half chap here, a question. Half chaps. Chaps. Oh, I have like just regular like these kinds, but they're so long that they actually drag into the snow and on the ground. So they get really disgusting at the bottom. I might like actually have to get some shortened or something for me. Well, it looks like they got some assless ones right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they look like. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh, there you go. That's that's pretty assless, but I won't wear that on my channel. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a little uh, <laughs> gay. 
<laughs> Although you might get a ton of new views. Oh my gosh. I have a friend who's actually an OnlyFans a content creator and she, she has a YouTube channel. It's crazy the things that she wears on there. And like, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. I don't have the body for it. Oh, she does. There, there's some gloves for you. Where? Right oh yeah, yeah. I, I I got some in my list already. But actually, I I'm not putting it in my list because I'm going to buy some actually this weekend at the store. And like that's like you got uh you got cans. Cans. Oh yeah, I got I got my helmet. I got my helmet and everything. Chaps, yeah, I got chaps. Okay. I've never used chainsaw chaps either. I wear pants. They get the dirt stuck to my pants. Whatever. It's called a washing machine. What is the best house to build in the bush in Canada? I think that's the question she wants to ask for a chat GPT. Oh, okay. Oh. My answer though is hilarious. Let's see. What is the best house to build in the bush in Canada? All right, it depends on location, climate, budget, and personal preference again. However, some popular options for bush dwellings in Canada include log cabins, timber frame houses, and sustainable off-grid homes made from materials like straw bales or reclaimed wood. It's important to consider factors like insulation, durability, and environmental impact when choosing the best type of house for your needs in the bush. Consulting with local experts and considering the specific challenges and opportunities of your chosen location can also help inform your decision. Interesting. <laughs> An igloo? <laughs> that was my response. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got a good couple of laughs out in the chat on that one. That was... I mean, come on, man. Canada has a buttload of snow in the wintertime and sometimes even in the off season of wintertime. So, I mean, you got tons of snow to build in Lakeland. I mean, am I wrong here? Well, it's just going to melt and, and come March. You won't have a home no more. We were talking about in OnlyFans with just fans, real fans, the spinning ones. <laughs> we're talking about the real ones, the real, the real OnlyFans, my friend who has that channel. It's crazy. She's like, she started in, in uh, 2020 in the pandemic and she went viral and it just went crazy from there. And she's like, she's famous now. Have a great night, Mel and everyone. Looking forward to the future videos. Thank you, Rebecca. Have a great time. Thank you for subscribing to my French channel. That's awesome. <laughs> if I was in Canada, I would go with stick frame and hemp insulation. Hemp insulation? Really? Hemp? I don't. I've never heard of that here. I think it's a state, a, a U.S. thing. But yeah, we do have actual. We actually have hemp insulation. Huh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna write my brother. He's a, a specialist in insulation. I'm gonna see if he wants to join on. Hey, Julian. I'm on a live stream right now, and we're talking insulation. And I have a, a subscriber that uh, recommended hemp insulation. And I was curious. You want to hop on and talk about it? I don't know. My dad went out to Alaska to see my brother the other, well, last week, I think. I think he's back now, but he's going to drive. He, he, was in, he spends his winters in California. And then he drives from California all the way back to Quebec. He's a snowbird, pretty much. And... Uh, yeah, so he went out to Alaska for a week with my brother, and we FaceTime together. I don't see my family very much. I'm very far away from them. I miss my family sometimes. You're lucky you live with your parents. Man, I, I wish I didn't. <laughs> At least I don't have to pay rent. Yeah. And on top of that, I'm improving the outlook of the uh, yard by, like, leaps and bounds. Right? Exactly. Before when I moved down here, it was just trees and dirt. Yeah. I know. You've been working your butt off. Your butt off. 
And I, I tell my kids, I say, you know what? Like everybody's like, your kids are gonna grow up and they're gonna leave. And I'm like, I don't want them to leave. <laughs> I, like I, I, I left when I was 14. So, um, let's see, hemp insulation. Hemp wool. Okay. Healthy, non-toxic insulation. We manufacture healthy, high-performing thermal insulation made of hemp, oh, creating energy-efficient homes. While also giving back to the environment of sequestering carbon. Right on. Hemp wool. I have no idea. Like that's I've never heard of that before. Right on. Well, I mean, if it's if it's if it's um with the here we have like a palva bar it's called it's like a plastic and it's like a vapor barrier so usually that i don't know i don't I, if it exists probably not it, 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 cuz he was referring to I, I didn't know canada had uh, yeah hemp insulation yeah mold and rose okay there you go that's awesome log pv Okay. That's interesting. I seriously, I like, I was looking for insulation when I was doing my submissions and stuff for my build and I couldn't, I, I didn't see that at all available. Shoot. I'm trying to write you something. There you go. Um, I saw that. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> I see it as uh, not just hemp loose cool. Yeah, so that's really cool. But yeah, I think like in the beginning, I was um, looking at doing like just regular two by sixes and doing like stick frame cabin, right? And then putting in some, o o I think it's called OBS. What is it called? OSB. OSV, yeah, and then putting on um, uh, insulation panel with the metallic on the outside and leaving it like that for a little while. But then my brother's like, "Hey, I'm in Alaska and I work in insulation," and he's like, "Trust me, like the research showed that that insulation with that vapor barrier is useless. So it literally costs money for nothing when I could just do." two by sixes with um, Tyvek and then put T111 siding on it. It's like T111 is like, uh, uh, oh, uh, what is it called? Um, polyvinyl. What? So it's a, is it either polyvinyl or is it the insulated siding? No, it's, it's, um, it's wood. It's like, oh my gosh, they put it on the floors too. What is it called? Oh, sure. Laminate flooring? Yeah, but it's it's for the outside wall, and it looks like the finish. Like, oh, here, let me show you. OSB, it, it's a T111. Yeah, I'm looking at it. T111 treated its um, finish panel. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's so, a finishing panel. It's like quarter, like an eighth inch or quarter plywood. inch. Thick. That's what I was looking for, plywood. So he's like, you know what, just do, do the Tyvek and then put that on top. It'll be like almost finished at exterior. You'll save in you'll, you'll see from the insulation and the uh the forens that you don't have to put on there so it's just like you just slap it on there and then you insulate from the inside either with uh styrofoam or with really good fiberglass right and then with the vapor barrier because they've shown in alaska in the really cold temperatures that it was unnecessary like having two vapor barriers it doesn't it's not efficient. So I, I was like, wow, okay, that's really interesting. So, and he worked like that's his profession in Alaska. So I'm like, I trust your judgment and you're my brother. <laughs> so, so I'm going to probably go with that. 
So it's at least going to look good, you know? And if you really want to insulate on the cheap, you could just buy like two inch foam or three inch foam and do it that way. Just cut it into panels and slide it in there. Yeah, no, that's it. Well, for one, it's not that cheap. Uh, panels is not that cheap for here, like where I am. But uh, probably I'm probably going to do either styrofoam homemade, like I'm going to do it myself, or I'm going to get really good fiberglass, like a R21 type of thing. <laughs> she forgot it. I was like, we were just talking about it. you were like, I'm I'm curious, Grace isn't in here. And he's like, Oh, he's probably at a uh, pest what, what is his name? Pest Hunter over on Jason's pest channel. Hunter, yes. <laughs> it's okay, it's all good. We talked about a lot of stuff. I'm at the bar with Rick and Lorraine. Okay. My brother's at the bar. <laughs> he says, never heard of hemp insulation. See? <laughs> Ooh, dang. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I just looked it up and one of my one of my subscribers, Heath, is like all for it. So I was like looking into it. As a professional in insulation, I would have expected you would have known about it. I'm a little disappointed, but I love you. <laughs> I love my brother. I miss him. All right, yeah, like plywood. We use soundproof insulation mostly. It's hemp more expensive. Is the hemp more expensive, Heath? Probably more expensive, but yeah, it's uh, I'm curious it's to easier to know what, what, the, what the price is. Oriented strand plywood. Yeah, there you go. Short term, it costs a bit more, but saves in the long run. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna write that down, Heath. I'm gonna look into it. I'm taking everything into consideration. All right. Hemp insulation. <laughs> you know what my brother says? He says, but it's hard to beat traditional fiberglass for the price and our value. He says, nope, this is Alaska. We use what we know works. <laughs> well, yeah, in Alaska, they probably use them like R18 or something. No, the at least R21. He says lower 48 in Canada can afford to experiment. Oh, come on. It's colder here. <laughs> He's like, tell them that. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love you, brother. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to look into the hemp thingy. Um, I think it's really interesting. I've never heard of it too. So yeah, I'm looking at R21. That is uh, 70 bucks per bag. I'm going to definitely look into it. I'm all about uh, looking at new, new ways of doing things or different ways. <laughs> it's okay, Grace. I'm a research geek also. <laughs> there you go. I'm, sh I'm actually shocked that uh, Russell's not on here tonight. I know. I know he's always here. But it's okay. I And I know he's been... He's not doing his live streams on Fridays anymore. He changes them randomly. Yeah. Sometimes we'll do it on Friday. Sometimes I'll randomly do it on a Saturday. I don't know. I asked him what was up and he didn't answer me, so... We'll see. But, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something interesting and I completely forgot. That was my um, fault. <laughs> uh, man. Oh, oh, yeah. I was saying that I'm trying to draw, draw out my plans for the inside of my cabin by 20 by 20. Mm -hmm. But I'm having a real hard time. Love you. Remember money for our value unless you want and want to represent something different that also works. Gotcha. Have fun at the bar. But yeah, um, I'm having the hardest time drawing out my plans because I, you know, I'm going to have a slab and I want to try to make all like, to, I'm trying to make this the most cost effective possible right so like i want to have all my water coming in at the same space and then 
I also know that I'm not going to have heated floors right away, but I'm thinking, you know, if I just put in the, the plastic tubing in there just until I can afford a system, I, I want to figure out where I put everything, but I want to make sure that there's water is pretty much all at the same place so that I don't pay too much plumbing, right? But I'm having the hardest time dividing it, but well, I... I'm going to have to figure it out. And maybe I'm, maybe I'm, this is the kind of thing that it might be worth hiring somebody like a designer or something like that, just to help me out on that. I go buy you some uh, big old pad of graph paper and just draw out what you want on there. And if you don't like one, just draw it on the next page. I've been doing that for weeks. I've been doing that for weeks. I just can't figure it out. And like I, I draw, I designed and I drew my first house that I built with Ben, but we got it built, right? It was like, and it had a basement. So like, it wasn't that complicated, but now it's like, I'm in a slab. So there's no basement. So it's like different. <laughs> so I've been, I was just, I just having a hard time with that part. Hey country boy. How are you doing? I don't, please remind me what your name is. I'm having the hardest time with names tonight. Rockwool is an amazing insulation, expensive but awesome stuff. Have you heard of hemp wool, hemp, hemp insulation though? I'm curious. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely gonna look into it, Heath. The two-in-one steel sharpener, it has a round file and a flat. Okay. So the flat would probably be for like, you know, the round one would be for literally the, the knife that's curved and then the flat one for the one on top to bring it down so that it doesn't, yeah, probably that's what it is. I would go by where the sun is and how you want it shining. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And I did. And I show that on my next video on Saturday. I'm going to show you guys. Nice. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yay. I can't. I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe. Like, I seriously, I have to pinch myself because I never expected, like, three years ago, when we exchanged vows and like, actually we didn't get officially married, but we got hand fasted. I never expected this to happen. I never expected this to happen. So it's like so weird. It's so weird. I'm going to have a grieving process. It's going to hit me in the face one day, but like right now I'm just really trying to focus on getting a house. Like well, you're going in the right direction. You've got it. You pretty much know where you're going and what you're going to do with it, aside from the uh, floor plan. But yeah, you know what you know the direction you want to go, and that's the second and third step to uh, get into a new new horizon. Is it is. Thank you, grassroots. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I think I I do have a friend who is a designer that might be able to help, but I'm going to have to pay for sure. But cause it, I mean, it's worth money, you know, like, like you think you can't just like give that out for free. It's a lot of hours. It's a, yeah, it's a 20 by 20 house, but it's two stories. So how I'm designing it is like the cheapest way possible to start out with. And then I'll be able to add on to it uh, as time goes by. So the plan is a uh, cement slab, I'll have one side, which is the north side. It's going to have two stories, two eight feet uh, tall ceilings. And then from the top, it'll go down. And this wall here on the front will have, oh, no, this is the north side. Sorry. The front side is two stories, eight feet. The back side goes like this. And then they'll have four feet on the second and then eight feet on the first. So it's literally going to go like this and like that. So if I want to add on to it one day, my greenhouse here, then I'll never have the snow coming down onto it. And then in back here, well, I'm, it's so funny because I used to dream of having an earthship house for the longest time, but now I dream of like opening the door and coming into my horse stable. So I'm trying to make that work. <laughs> You just like open the door and be like, hey, copper, instead of walking through like miles of snow. So, and so yeah, it's two story. We, would, we had to build a separate room for our solar batteries inverter. We had to, yeah, the bylaws and everything. That's, yeah, it's a lot. 
Yeah, definitely. There's always surprises, isn't there? My name is Scott. <laughs> don't tell anyone, really? Do you really don't want me to tell tell anybody? Because <laughs> I can be. I can. I cannot say it. But I just wanted to make sure that. That's Scott. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Is this going to be a log house? No, it's going to be stick frame. It's going to be stick frame. It's really literally, I, I looked into it with one of my friends and we we're like trying to calculate because he's an, well, he was an entrepreneur in, entrepreneur in a renovation and construction. And we we're like, you know what? This is the easiest, simplest build that we can do for that will be done fast and easy. So that's, uh, that's where we're heading. <clears throat> So with this eco development, you own your part of your land you bought. Yes, I own the 25,000 square feet. And then we have a co, uh, what's it in English? I'm trying to translate it. Uh, like a condo, you're like co-owners, right? So you're co-owners of the land. And then if he sells, like he made it, like, I don't know if you saw the video of me describing it. But if he sells a bunch of properties, which he's really picky on the people that come in. So like, we're just not going to accept just anybody, right? Everybody has to have their own skills, set of skills in order to partake in this uh, community. And so if we're happy with the person that comes in and they buy a property, then that gives money to the enterprise. And so with that money, he's like, okay, well, I have this money to invest into the property, what do we do? Let's do a vote, you know? So like we could either do like a big community kitchen, commercial kitchen, we could build a barn, um, you know, it could be like, well, let's buy fruit trees and stuff like that for the food forest or for the gardens. So it's really cool the way that he set it up. And it's all, it's also a, a nonprofit organization. So if we wanted to reach out to the government and get grants to do like a learning facility or something like that, then we would be eligible for that. He refused like a whole bunch of things last year because he wasn't officially the nonprofit organization yet. But he like there were companies reaching out to him trying to give him like electric bikes and stuff like that. Um, but he's like, I can't, I can't accept them. I'm not nonprofit yet. But he's officially since this year, a uh, nonprofit. Nice. So it's really cool. Yeah. Eight pound splitting mall with a wooden handle. Usually you can find the splitting malls at a garage sale. For I've been looking every single time I go to garage sales and to, because I'm a thrift store, like junkie. I love thrift stores, like literally. And I haven't found any yet. They always, they probably leave really quick because I'm pretty on top of it. <laughs> Good was misunderstood over here. What? what? Yeah, I'm like, I'm reading. Oh, you're misunderstood. Okay. How about the log house? Hey, how you doing? Good evening, Green Country Afro Forest, Agro Forestry, Afro. Oh, so you do your lives on Wednesday as well. Okay. Right on. That's cool. I might switch mine up, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just, for now, I'm keeping it the first Wednesday because it's not complicated. It's just, it, it is what it is. <clears throat> But eventually when I, when I have my kids one week out of two, uh, if I'm at my friend's house, which I only have one room for me and my kids over there, the time that I'm building. So it's going to be really jam packed and I'm going to be in a basement where my computer is going to be set up. So if that Wednesday is on the week where I have my kids, then I won't have a choice then to like, I won't be able to do a live stream in her basement with my kids sleeping in the next room. You know, it just, it's, it's just not smart <laughs> so I, I just i won't be able to do that but it's okay hello off the hook outdoors how are you doing nice to see you we're doing good we got a lot of things figured out on my list <laughs> so i'm really excited about that well with the with the uh kids option schedule does ben get them the first week of the month or the second week of the month i don't know yet because my friend who offers me who offered me that that she's got like a premium rate for me for that room she's like i'm gonna provide you food and and housing for a, a specific rate which which is a, a really good deal 
And uh, she's going to take my my kids one week out of two, but she has also got her kids. So when my kids are not there, her kids are there. When her kids are not there, my kids are there to avoid having like too many people in the house. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be on her schedule. So I have no idea. And, you know, like, especially like some weeks, some months have four weeks. Some of them have five. It's like it. It's going to be offset somewhere in there for sure. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to. Well, I'm going to. You guys are going to have to bear with me for a year on the live streams there and the live stream schedule. So. Yeah, we've dealt with it over the last two years. So I know well, you guys. Break. You guys we are amazing. We're still here. I mean, if, if we didn't like the option, we'd have all skedaddled a long time ago. But you were right. still here supporting you. I know. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> All this seems to be right up your alley. A good fit for you. Thank you. Yes, it really does. I, my gosh. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I, there's so many things that I could say, like my physical body wants to say so much, right? But like, not everything can be said, you know? So it's like, yeah, I'm going to have to do a member section specifically to like go into details and stuff of things like that. But yeah, again, so many things happened over the th past two years, guys. Some for the best and some for the worst. Yeah, it's a shame you guys never got that greenhouse on the side of that on the side of. I mark my word, Cliff. I'm gonna have that greenhouse. Mark my word. It's, if I it's have up, to go up there and build the damn thing, you're it's gonna. It's up have to that me greenhouse. now. It's up to me now, Cliff. I'm gonna have that dang greenhouse. Yeah, you'll have to you'll have that greenhouse if I have to find like take a couple of weeks off of work and fly my butt to Canada. I'm gonna help you with that greenhouse. Like I said, my physical body wants to say a lot of things right now, but it's not the place, <laughs> you know. But it's up to me now, and I'm gonna get it done. There you go. Oh yeah. So that's awesome. Glad you are figuring it out. Praying for you and the kids. Thank you so much. Thank you. That is so cool. The kids work it out. Yes, definitely. And I'm like, like, like I said, I like, it's not done yet. I have to move out on the 1st of July, but I'm going to have that like grieving process. Right. So that like the whole week without the, cause it's like, ugh, it's going to be hard. Like I'm antip anticipating it, but at the same time, I know that I'm going to be with really good friends in a really amazing house with a really good energy and so I'm not going to be alone. And when the kids are going to be there, I'm going to have help with the kids too. So I like, I feel like I'm getting the better end of the deal, the deal here, you know, like on, to be honest, Ben's going to be by himself at the house in this really big house with the kids. I'm going to be surrounded by amazing people, like amazing people. So yeah. Anyways, <laughs> give it Keep it simple, one step at a time. Don't over most. Yes, one step at a time for sure. <laughs> he he said he was in North Carolina. Wait, wait, wait. Where were you from again? He, oh, you said it, Dakota, North Dakota. I'm out of North or South Dakota. Yeah, I like that. Yes, I will. I will have that greenhouse. I just really want to make a mini greenhouse addition on the south side of the house, turning the front porch into the sunroom like a getaway drug. Yes, definitely. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> if you really want it, then it'll happen. Yes, it will. It will, Grace. North Dakota, there you go. I ain't used to it yet, but doing lots of research into Chinook preparedness. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's cool. But yeah, I, um, you know, I've been working a lot with, uh, like I said, like I've been working a lot spiritually and like working the law of attraction and manifesting things into my life. And so far, when I look back, everything that I've wanted and that I've needed, I've had, even if at the moment it didn't seem like it, you know, so it's like putting yourself into that mindset of like, if you want something, you actually have to put yourself in a position that's really uncomfortable in order to make things happen. But if you're just staying in a stagnant energy 
and not doing anything about it for the things that you want in your life, it'll never happen. So it's like, I, I, I read a passage the other day. Um, well, I actually saw the passage on a social media and it says, God helps those who help themselves. Right. And that hit hard with me this week. And I was like, shit, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> yep. That one hit hard. So like, we have an unexpected visitor. Who? <gasps> Johnny! Are you kidding me? At work, sushi bar going to get in trouble. Just saying hi. Hope all is great out there. Much love and aloha. Aloha, Johnny. I love you too, man. Man, we miss you. We were just talking about you earlier with the Halloween live stream. We were like, we got to do that again. Yeah, we need to get Johnny on our lives more often. But the I know. Whole world, they're busy AF at work. Like, I know, I'm Johnny. <sighs> we love you. We miss you. When we still see you everywhere in the comments, I don't know how you do it. You're awesome. Oh, he'll come in at like two or three in the morning after he's gotten off of work and he's just chilling outside in the on the garden. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys don't know Johnny, Johnny's in Hawaii and he's like he's got like the most contagious smile. Like he will smile for days. Like if you're in his presence, even on video, he'll just smile and you'd be like, you're good for a few days. You're good. You know, <laughs> he just like gives you that energy. I love yeah, he it. Is super upbeat and energetic. Yeah, totally. If you survived without it, you didn't actually need it. We do tend to think ourselves into inability thinking we need something that we don't have. Yeah, totally. And like for me, I think what was stopping me was like my limited beliefs, you know, my limited belief system inside of me that like, you know, when I was younger, people told me certain things and I believed that from myself, that I wasn't capable, I wasn't worthy. And so I had to work and pass, like work past through that and push through the barrier and realize that like, no, like who said that? Like, I don't, I don't think that of myself, like, like that, you know? So I literally destroyed those beliefs that I had of myself and decided to just be who I am, who I believe I am, you know? So that's the big work of the spiritual process that I've been working on for the past two years and my healing. So, yeah, it's been a process. Like, this is scary. Don't get me wrong. Like, this is a freaking scary thing. Like... <laughs> I've been a stay-at-home mom with no, like, zero revenue for, like, nine years. Mm -hmm. I, I I sacrificed putting money away from my retirement for nine years to be at home with my kids. And I'm literally putting my life savings in this product, project. And it's, like, it's scary. But for some reason, I have this inner knowing that it's where I'm supposed to be, you know? Yeah, sometimes you just got to throw all your eggs in one basket. And just hope you don't trip. I know. So it is it is terrifying. It's terrifying. But you got this, Mel. You got it covered. Yeah, I think so. You got all of us over here. All yeah. You got all of us to support you. Yeah. So it's like I even if there's eleven or thirteen people in here, it's like I have this inner knowing that it's like this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be doing this on my channel, sharing a lot more people need to know about this lifestyle. And yeah, it's doable. It's doable. If I can do it, fucking you can do it, you know? So I yeah. could, but I'm pretty sure that the, for that same price of what you're paying for that land is going to be three to four times that over here. And it's going to be no so? trees. You think so? I have a budget of a hundred thousand dollars. That's if I sell my 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 trailer and everything, right? That's my budget. Well, if you sh if you sell your tr well, I mean, I would probably just keep the trailer like you said for a little while. That way, you at least have a uh, some sort of transitioning unit. Yeah, exactly. Well, I I want to avoid selling it until I really need the money. You know, it's like if I sell it right now and I'm like, oh, YouTube works really good and I have money, then like. I'm like, shit, I don't have a trailer, you know? So I'd rather wait and just take my time and be like, and if something's telling me, just wait. Don't sell everything you have right now. Just keep working, keep doing your job, keep pushing. 
and and let's see you know let's see where this takes us like how far can i go <laughs> with my budget before i sell off my assets you know yeah so, do, do what sean did live in the trailer until you get the uh at least the roof up on your uh, cabin or a little, little house there and once you get that then you can start you know transitioning from that to the inside and hopefully not freeze to death in the winter time yeah well i with kids i wouldn't do it i wouldn't do the trailer with two kids because it's too small for one and uh yeah you'd at least have to have septic electricity and wa running water you know yeah. at least at least in your trailer and it, for it to be insulated so i'm just not ready for that right now but shoot i missed a few comments let's see yeah i did that you guys rock also put your trust in the creator god and savior yes Joni, I keep telling us that I don't need a broad fork, for example. I need a broad fork. <laughs> oh, that's two. Yeah. I got two. <laughs> you did have two broad forks. You had the one that was like yeah. that in between there, and then she had the little one. Yeah, I love those things. I actually, they're at uh, the community garden in my village right now. People are using them for them for that now. Nice. I, I was wondering if you kept them or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, I kept them. They're just on like um, temporary loan for the community garden in my village right now. Who told you that God made a mistake when he made you? Oh, <laughs> that is so sweet. You know, we're all the what? What do they call it? The we're all the holographic uh, recreation of God. I guess uh, is that what it's called? The word like a we're made in the image of God through holographic figure. Anyways, that's how I see it. I love that you're doing this. Thank you, Shawnee. <laughs> Thank you. Signing is basically OSB and texture fit. Yes, am I that far away in the comments? No, you're almost at the bottom. Okay. There's only like six more after that. <clears throat> oh, Shinnick preparedness must be like not live. He must be watching it like just a little bit further back because we were talking about T111 a long time ago. I think having your kids first is your best move. Young men have to work for years to gain the experience needed for leadership. Women get it being moms, having family first. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Your triple pick you back up and get you going again one way or another miss thank you yeah yeah definitely and yet the smallest sparrow is taken care of right what well, didn't we have a follower that had like it was either your channel or somebody that they they had the word sparrow in their channel name i swear and i my brain's just not processing no that's the pirate jack sparrow <laughs> <laughs> well, I know we had a, we had at one point there was a maybe right maybe I don't know I don't remember I love she's doing this also it's the best thing to do no one to answer to own your own piece of paradise yeah definitely I keep on saying definitely every single live stream Cliff remember I would say there's one word in every live stream that I say all the time and I repeat it like yeah. sometimes it'll be like certainly sometimes it'll be like definitely sometimes it'll be like oh yeah Every single life, there's one thing that I say over again, and I'm like, I annoy myself. Oh, I do. I, I there's one I do on purpose on my Saturday lives, and now for some reason it's the you know, the word eludes me. But Saturday, I'll say it like tons of times. Right. It's on purpose. <laughs> oh no, I don't do it on purpose though. I'm just I'm just naturally annoying myself. <laughs> We use mostly rock wood or mineral wool insulation out here in my area. Yeah, we use rock wool to insulate for noise, I think, but I'm not sure. I think that's what it is. Why is it that all the people I watch doing this stuff are so far away? I'm a builder and I love unique projects. Aw, I'm sorry. That's that's just how it is. You know, the funny thing is I know Scott has said where he's at numerous times and I forget. I'm down here in New Mexico in the desert. And trust me, nobody's near me. Yeah. Well, the closest must... person to me is 15 hours away. Yeah. Because my friend my friend was on here earlier, fr frugal off-grid. He's in the high desert, Arizona. Yeah, Arizona. 
How far is that from where you live in New Mexico? I don't know what city's at. Um, Arizona's roughly a four to six hour drive for me. Exactly. He's awesome. It depends on exactly what city he's in. Have you seen his channel? I have not. That was actually the first time I've seen him. Dude, you should go check it out. He's been doing a lot of stuff out there. He's, like I said, he's been inspiring me. He's doing it on his own. And I'm like, holy crap. Like, oh, wait, let me, let me go find him here. I should have almost all of the uh, StreamYard chat on here. I'll go. Let's crawl. I met him officially on TikTok. Ooh. And so that's him right here, Frugal Off Grid. I mean, it looks and... like he bought a, a desert, a de uh, what is it, a ghost town. <laughs> that's his That's his homestead. He's got a wallapini. He's got a little greenhouse. He's got, he, he's got like a, he lives in a van and he's got two horses on his property. He's got a water tower. Uh, it's all off grid. He's building a, he's digging a pond for his water. Like seriously, he's doing stuff. And I'm like, you're only getting a thousand views to 2.5 thousand views, 3.9. I'm like, shit. And you're doing stuff. And it's, and his voice is so soothing. And I'm like, how do like, it's, he's, he's, he's got to, he's got to blow up sometime because he's really doing amazing stuff. Well, he's got almost 43k subs, so that's not too bad. I know, but that's because of TikTok. Because on TikTok, he had a few viral videos, and people came into his channel and stuff. And and so he had a few viral videos, but that's what happens. That's too bad, Scott. We have good use some contractors. Yeah, totally. It's a heck of a water tower he's got, though. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, my gosh. Remember? Oh, my gosh, Grace. I remember <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? You'd be like, oh hey, green green country agroforest. How you doing? Oh hey, Cat Mac. How you doing? Oh, that one night I kept on saying that all over and over oh, again. <laughs> I was like, I feel like Joey Triviani. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I only take on interesting projects now in my spare time, and I don't do it full time anymore. Yeah, it became too much. I got gotcha. you. Dang, country boys, way over there. Yeah, when he said when he says all the uh, that he's not anywhere near anybody either. Yeah, he's nowhere near anybody. Yeah, I love his horse work too, and he's like oh, brand new to it too, and he's learning off the bat. You know, I think that's really cool. Yeah, the west coast of British Columbia, but you know what? I I have family in Fernie in bc and uh you know i've been i've been talking about about it to maybe go up there pretty soon well pretty soon after my build so like in the near future like so i don't know maybe one day <laughs> hey mallory how you doing <laughs> oh my gosh hey guys well we've been up here for two hours and uh I feel like I need to get some rest because I have two clients tomorrow, but they're like combined. I have like Ricky mediumship and massage therapy for each client. So they're taking two services each. So I have like two hours. Yeah. So I have like two hour and a half, uh, uh, two of them, two hour and a half uh, morning and afternoon. And I want to have all my head straight and clear for that. So I need to, start looking into going to bed to be performant and offer quality services. So, right. yeah. so I uh, will definitely keep you guys posted on Saturday. The video is coming out. I'm going to be editing to, uh, after on Friday. I'm going to be editing Saturday's video and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys. I'm going to be on the spot with my dirty chaps. <laughs> <laughs> they're so dirty i need to get some new ones like i i really have to buy new stuff to be are more presentable. The fluffy one with you what are you taking the fluffy one with you 
No, Darwin, I don't bring him out there yet because there's nowhere that I can tie him and I don't trust him enough because he literally will see a deer and he'll be like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm <gone." laughs> so I can't, I can't trust him being loose on the property, but yeah, he'll definitely have. Wait, wait, wait. You, you got nowhere. You have hundreds of trees over there. Just tie him to a tree. Yeah, but it's the, the trees are a little too dense still. I need to get, I need to clear them out first. So he's going. He, if you put if you tie him up there, he's going to get stuck in the trees. Oh, he's going to get completely stuck in the trees. So I need to clear out the trees first. So that's what my goal is. Is like I need to go out there and I'm going to go back out there on Monday and clear out a whole bunch of them. At least put them on the ground so I can come back by myself and and then you know put it put it into firewood and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to go shopping this weekend and I'm going to go and check out my list. And I want to thank you guys so much for helping me with that. No problem. And um, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, if I go shopping, I'm going to bring you guys with me. I'm going to do a haul. I'm going to take my courage and I'm going to get my phone and be like, okay, I'm shopping for these. Cliff told me to buy this. He told me to buy this. <laughs> I'm going to do this. Okay. So I'm going to keep you guys posted. All right. So everybody's saying good night. Good night. Good night. Dirty chaps keeps the bugs away. <laughs> yeah, Darwin. I love that boy. All right, Scott, thank you so much for being here. I love you guys, and we will see you guys next time. Take and don't forget, call. if you guys want to hop onto my member section, then I will definitely do a live stream with a little bit more of this <laughs> and getting into real talk on that on that side of things. So I love you. Bye-bye. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>